I just like the sound. Hey yo, what's good? I'm Bob. Welcome back to our sneakers. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up because you already know today we're going to talk about what drops tomorrow for Supreme. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut to the chase and talk about what's dropping tomorrow. I have not checked what drops tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure I have an idea because I saw some tweets here and there. And hopefully there's more to that than what I just saw. So anyways, let's get into it. You guys already know I'm going to show you guys drop by Jay's page right here. So we're going to go ahead and start with the NBA collab because that is what I knew was going to drop. And this is the first picture that has been posted from him. And it is pretty much the jersey and the shorts. I don't know if it's all NBA teams or it's most NBA teams. I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I haven't really like did much of my research. But what I'm looking at, it looks more like the West because there's no East teams on here. So as you guys can see, J.R. Smith is the model. And it is not only the West. I think it's all 30 teams that are in the NBA because I just saw the Heat. There's the Celtics. There's the Knicks. So, and the Bulls as well. So there is an East and a West. And J.R. J.R. Smith was modeling here the white colorway, and then there's a black colorway, and then also there's gonna be sneakers. These are Nike, damn, I don't even know these sneakers, yo. I think they are, they look like some Air Force highs. Let me know in the comments below what sneaker this is, because I don't even know. I forgot the name of it completely. I really don't do Nike like that no more. I just do Adidas more than anything. And it looks like they fit all 30 teams into here as well. And if we zoom in, we see that it says Supreme times Nike Air collab. So you know it is a collaboration between the two. Here we have the white colorway, same shoe, same sneakers. They moved the names around a little bit, I think. I'm not too sure. I think the Chicago Bulls. No, I think they kept on the same spots, just different colorways. And that's it for that one. So we're gonna go here and go to the varsity jacket. Would this be a varsity jacket or is it like a puffer? What is it, yo? We're gonna call it the warm-up jacket. Cause actually that's the first word I saw on the page. So we're gonna call it a warm-up jacket. And here's a black one. I'm assuming there's gonna be a white colorway as well. And it does come with the hoodie, I think. That'd be dope if it did. I don't know if it's part of the outfit or not, but it'd be dope. Nope, it doesn't. Here you have like a denim looking one and then the same denim looking one again. Honestly, not a big fan of this one. I like the black one better. I have a picture of the shoes, white ones and the black ones here. Next up, we do have this picture right here is pretty much everything I just talked about in one picture. And then we swipe, we see the three warm-up jackets. Unfortunately, oh, I do have a white one, but unfortunately I'm not a big fan of these at all. Like I wouldn't wear these because it just made me look smaller. I say this every video, you guys know how I do. Next, we have the jersey. Honestly, I might just have to cop the jersey, but I don't know if I'll keep it because it's just too much going on. Like, I understand it's a Supreme jersey, but it's too much. I just can't wear that. It doesn't look right. But I would definitely buy this for resale. This whole collab, buy it to resell. Doesn't matter what it is, it will resell. More than anything, buy the clothing. I'd be kind of sketchy buying the sneakers, but I would for sure say buy the jersey because that looks like it's gonna sell. The black one, the white one, the white shorts, the black shorts. I might just cop the black shorts. I can possibly rock those, but it's just too much and it's like everywhere. They don't even have it like nice and lined up. I don't know, yo. I'm gonna buy it and see what happens. If I wanna keep them by the time I have them, then I'll keep them. If not, I'll sell them. That's if I get them because I already know this is gonna go quick. This is gonna be the first thing to go. Next up, we do have the shoes again and then we have more pictures, modeling pictures. We already saw these. So let's move on to the prices. The warm up jacket is 328. The jersey's 228. The shorts are 168 and they're, oh, they are Nike Air Forces. One's mid. They're not highs, they're mids. And those are going for 165. And the shorts, I think I said, I don't think I said them, but they are 168. And honestly, for the shorts to keep them for that price it's a good price the jersey that's about a real jersey price so i think the quality on these jerseys are going to be really good it should be oh yeah it is authentic jersey so that means it's like the best quality of the jerseys because there's like the ones that are just stamped on there's the ones that are kind of just stitched on and then there's like the legitimately stitched on ones that they play with in the nba and the shorts again here 168 uh, it's kind of nice bro i'm not gonna lie but i don't know i don't know I don't know what to do. I'm honestly not too happy with that. I thought Supreme Nike and NBA would do like a way cooler collab. Like this is just something so simple. They just got a bunch of team logos and just, they pretty much just threw it on basketball outfits. I don't know how I feel about that. Now we're gonna move on to the accessories. I hope there's more than just these two because that's a very little amount of accessories. I mean, a Supreme doesn't always drop a lot. Like. I don't know. I forgot what they dropped last week. I think it was the tennis balls. That's it. I like to buy accessories. I'm actually planning to buy all of them and at the end of the season make a huge video of me having most of them all. Hopefully I can get them all. Out of these two, I think the pen will go first, which I'm definitely gonna go for the pen and the bottle. Actually, no, bottle might go first and then the pen. I'll probably go for the bottle first. I don't, I don't even know if I'll go for the NBA collab. I don't know what to go for first. This is really getting really difficult. Let me move on and then we'll talk about what I'm gonna go for. Up here we have Blow Your Mind T. Is this dropping on the 8th? which is tomorrow. I don't know if this is dropping. I think this is just what is possible to drop soon. So here we have pretty much everything dropping. Let's move on to the next page. We have the whole NBA collab. And then we have these, what do you call these jackets? They're not, they're not puffers. They're like parkas. Are they parkas? All right, I'm gonna call it a parka, but these are hideous. I would not cop. These t-shirts are pretty simple. I might just have to buy me that peach one because that is pretty fresh. I could rock that and it's not too much going on. These hoodies are trash. I hate the Gons collab. It's so ugly. I said this last season. It is 
hideous. It's stupid. It's like, I know it has that skater style to it, but I just don't like it. It's, it's ugly. They just gotta cut it out of their whole collection. But regardless of the fact, people are gonna buy it. So go ahead and buy the hoodie and resell it because we already know this is gonna resell for sure. The hats usually don't have resell, so I wouldn't even go for that, especially not Gons. This is actually pretty dope, but I can't wear that. too many stripes. I'm not much of a stripe person. Stripes just don't look right. I don't know. This, it's a weird thing. You have to like know how to rock it correctly. And of course, then again, we have the accessories. And onto the next page, I think he might have added a little more. That's the whole thing. Oh yeah, there's a little bit more here. So we do have these like mechanic shirts over here. I think I saw somewhere that these are hype, especially that first colorway. So I would say if you guys want to resell, maybe cop that one. And next to that, we do have the Supreme. Is it a hoodie or is it like, oh hell, I hate these shirts. Like long sleeve polos. They're just hideous. I don't like these. I thought it was like a, a sweatshirt at least. If it was a sweatshirt, it'd be dope, but the collar just ruins it all. I don't know. It just doesn't look right. I personally wouldn't go for it. That's up to you guys if you want to. I personally would not. Oh, these hoodies. I got a cup hoodie. I got a cup hoodie. I got a cup matching hoodie. I got to have the peach shirt with a peach hoodie. Even though I'd probably just keep the shirt because the hoodie I don't need. I'd probably just sell it. So go ahead and go for these two because these are definitely going to resell. Here we have more hats that say New York, London, Paris. I think those are the only three stores that Supreme exists in. I'm pretty sure there's more though. I'm, I don't think that's only three. There should there has to be more. There's no way because I'm pretty sure there's some in Asia as well. But anyways, going back to the point, we do have two accessories and I spoke about those already. Canteen first and then the pen. And then we go back to the Gons collab. It's terrible. Like I said, I'm not going to go. Oh, this goes hard, yo. These are definitely going to be like around 150 maybe 200 these are fuego though i'm not gonna lie if i had to go for a colorway for the top i would go for the khaki looking one this one up here on the upper right and the pants i'll go with the same color or the black one those two are the main colors people go wear so it's gonna be the easiest to sell the other two colors are fire because they pop as well but i don't think they'll be as easy to sell and the resale won't be as high and that pretty much brings me to the end of the video what i'm gonna go for first i think would most likely be this peach shirt right here or the hoodie i'm actually oh, this is always a hard decision like i don't know if i should get my money up or if i should buy supreme to keep because i don't have much supreme clothing and i do want it this is like one of the few things that i like the only reason i go for the peach shirt because they're all faded and the peach one doesn't look too faded i don't really don't like my clothes looks faded because it looks old and raggedy so i would not go for the black one or it looks kind of gray as a matter of fact but it's definitely like a black faded so i'm gonna go for that peach shirt and pff, i don't know what hoodie it probably just i don't know i'll probably go for the peach one and resell that as well and then i'm probably gonna go for dude i don't know there's actually a lot of good stuff on this drop the first thing i'm gonna go for is a shirt that's for my personal reasons because i really want a shirt i need a shirt from supreme i don't have a single one i had them but then i just sold them and then i think what i'm gonna go for would be the canteen and then the pen and then i'm gonna go for this hoodie right here because this is dumb fuego and this will resell for sure i'm kind of going for resell last because i do need more personal things like i said i want to get the accessories up and then i'll start reselling and that's where bots come in hand but i made that video yesterday for several reasons if you guys want to buy it for resell like maybe resell a thing or two or if you guys actually want to buy things for your personal use which is what people usually do if you're buying it manual usually people with bots they resell because they get a bigger quantity which i might just plan on doing soon but i don't know if it's really time consuming to do that so i don't think i'm gonna do that. i don't know yet we'll see what happens with that the first thing that's gonna go everybody knows is gonna be the supreme and nike collab with nba as well those are gonna be the first things to go and they're gonna be the hardest things to get if you guys want to go ahead and go for that then be my guest it's gonna be really difficult i'm not gonna go for that for that reason but that's why i'm gonna go for other things that i have smaller resell but i know they're gonna resell as well so you just gotta be really smart when you buy supreme which is what i'm gonna make a video on sometime early next week giving you tips on how to buy supreme because i know it's gonna help you guys especially if you're new to the game anyways any Anyways, I want to give a big thank you to Arturo Juarez. Big shout out to you, bro. You are a fan of the day. If you guys want to be a fan of the day, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and also be one of the first people to comment on my latest video. And then you do have a chance to be a fan of the day for my next video. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Please smash that thumbs up button if you guys really did enjoy me showing you guys a collection that's dropping tomorrow. And also, don't forget to subscribe because we are on the road to hitting 25,000 subscribers by the end of this month, which I know we can make it happen because we're very, very close. I don't know. Somehow we had like a little jump. We had like 200 subscribers or 100 subscribers in one day. So that was pretty dope. That helped a lot. So thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for being new to the channel. Make sure you guys keep sharing this video with your friends. Make sure you guys share them with your family, your mom, your dad, your uncle, your auntie, your granny, everybody. Make sure we get out there because our mob is going to be the best, hypest mob on YouTube. So let's get it. Anyways, guys, make sure you keep grinding. It's your boy, Sneaker Sign. Now.